it was such a celebration of African showcase. Considering uh, May is the is Africa, I, I want to call it Africa Month. Uh, Africa Day celebrated every 25th um, of May, and I can say Village Market was one of the first companies that, or, or one of the first places that started celebrating Africa Day way back in 2017, before even a lot of people knew what Africa Day was. Because we have um, one of our directors is very passionate about the continent, about Kenya, and he challenged us to to work around and come up with a creative concept around Africa Day to celebrate our continent. Village Market has set up today a display of innovation and new technology that is coming into Kenya for the motorists. We have very interesting products, especially in the EV sector, the four-wheel drive with the Ironman displaying what they can do best in these flooding times in Kenya. And we also have an insurance company that is giving the motorist insurance per kilometer driven. That's a new innovation, first time in Kenya. The show experience started to be designed two years back. We always uh, talk with the team and say that same as a car, from the moment of design to the moment of its delivery for being sold in places takes two years. An auto show like this has been like in the, in the journey of being created for that two years as well. We have started with an idea of bringing to Kenya the best of the motor cradle and to being able to show the people what Kenya is capable of doing but also bring families together through a thing that joins us. I believe that Kenya is going through a direction of becoming the leader in the African continent in many things. We've seen how in fashion, in hospitality, in real estate, Kenya has been taking big steps and becoming a leading nation in making things happen. And now in the automotive space, Kenya is going through that journey. One very interesting thing about Kenya particularly is the inception of EV vehicles that are actually transforming the way how the nation works and also very aligned with the spirit of Kenya of taking care of its natural resources and at the same time being able to give people the best of the best. We are in the middle of this intersection that either uh, will lead us to uh, a future where automobile industry is going to become part of the daily lives of people or where automobile industry is going to become an option. I think that in either reality, Kenya is going to play a huge role due to its natural resources, to its biodiversity, to its fauna and flora. And we need to start thinking how we can make a much more sustainable development in our cities so then when automobiles are on their way, they don't contribute negatively to the protection of the environment. Kipchoge is one of the the top of the rich double cups. It's a we are 
Eric Kipchoge is our brand ambassador, is a DMAX brand ambassador. So in honor of the Ineos uh, race that he won, 159, we, we, the company decided to produce a double cup in honor of that race. So we are only producing 159 units only. Yes, so anybody who buys this vehicle will be in a club. It will be a club, a, an area to keep jogging club. This car is one of the strongest in the market. It's a 3000 cc automatic, very powerful machine that can do both off front and in town. We do not have a specific customer for our vehicles. Anybody can own the vehicle. As long as you purchase, we, in we inbox you and you become one of the Isuzu family. This vehicle, I love it so much because of the safety. It's one of the safest vehicles to drive in this town. This vehicle, you cannot crash with it. It, it has an autonomous braking system. You, it has the lane controls. It has name it all the safety features that are, that are there. You cannot hit anybody with it, from both from the front and at the rear. Our rally drivers really drive fast, um, but we take precaution. As you can see today, I'm in a rally suit. Now, with a rally suit, this is a fireproof suit. Something that many Kenyans perhaps might not know when they see the cars zoom past them. We are coming hot on the heels of the World Rally Championship, the WRXC experience, which is an amazing uh, bit. But most people need to know that there's a safety, there's a strong safety culture around motorsports. And what better way to promote safety than to come at the village market auto show experience, where you can talk to car enthusiasts, um, rally, future rally drivers, and of course, just family, friends, instilling the message of safety, uh, in motorsports and also safety in your day-to-day -day driving. This event uh, and of course the auto show experience is good for the uh, family, friends and also your children as well. Whether they've hit 18 or not, like they're aspiring so that they know that the car is indeed a, you know, a useful tool to use but at the same time you also need to be careful at what um, age first of all you start driving uh, what speeds you're driving at, uh, what the car can do at 100, at 150. So all this knowledge, sharing of knowledge, uh, interacting is also very good for the uh, would-be car owners. Uh, car owners would like to change, would like to upgrade, for them to see what are the safety options they have. Today I've just gotten to learn about the Sai Raj experience where you can also buy your cars and sort of have that motorsport feel with the Iron Man, with the roof, roof rack, you know, with your trailing, um, you know, camping equipment, the fridge. We kit out vehicles, we accessorize them, anything 4x4 related. That's what we do. Ironman is an originally Australian uh, brand and uh, they've been doing 4x4 for 40 years plus. So we've been in partnership with Ironman for more than 10 years. So we've really grown this nice relation with them. They support us. We have a platinum showroom at Mombasa Road and in Babadogo. So we have the full range of 4x4 accessories, as you can see from our setup. If you want to go camping, if you want to do a suspension upgrade, whatever you name it, 4x4 related, we're doing that. So Sairaj uh, has been a pioneer in this uh, industry and market for well over 50 years. So, I mean, there's been a steep learning curve and when we do what we do at this level, we've learned a lot and we, we put that uh, quality and benchmark on customers' vehicles. So we, whatever work we do, we ensure that we meet that benchmark. And uh, partnering with a reputable company like Ironman and Alucab 
and to name others, we, 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 we want to give the best to the customers. So this is what I drive every day, this vehicle. So we sell products that we use on our, on our own cars first. So we get the hang of the product, we know what the product is before we sell it ahead to customers. So we know what the product is all about. So the culture is growing a lot in Kenya and people are picking up this uh, trend because it's a lifestyle. People want to go out and uh, experience the nature. It's very therapeutical. It's also something for your mind, soul, you know. So um, this gear helps us. We are, we are lucky because we in the industry where we, we are passionate about what we do and we, in that we, we get to sell and to enjoy the same thing at the same time. We are able to put on any 4x4. Uh, so what we have done in this show, like you can see, we have tried to distribute different, uh, display different types of vehicles. So all vehicles can be done uh, differently depending on your spec and what you're looking at. Uh, this one car right behind us, we can go through that in detail. It's a Prado, so we put a roof rack, a tent. So that can be achieved on any 4x4 car. We always try to be the best in our game. We uh, offer the best, like I said, we've been in the industry for 40 plus years. and. Uh, that's pretty much it, yeah. Innovation and quality, we, that's all we, we, we do. I'm a Mercedes babe. <laughs> so if anybody ever wants to surprise me, of course, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'll actually try it out. Uh, it's on my, it's on my uh, vision board. I'd, I'd love a Mercedes um, SUV and that's one of the cars I'm going to try out. After the COVID passed, what we and I identified in the Kenyan marketplace, actually it's a regional marketplace, is a need for professional after-sales services, especially for higher brands. And higher brands are very electronically complex vehicles, Jaguars, Range Rovers, Land Rover product, BMW, Audi, Porsche. And franchise operations are often overwhelmed with meeting targets, vehicle sales targets, parts targets. I've been in this business for 37 years. We've got international technicians, factory qualified, sought and sourced from markets that I've been familiar with in my past life because I've had 24 years of experience overseas. And we have a Kenyan infrastructure. When you put the two together, you have a unique business model for this region. The business model at the moment, well, actually the business model is the three words that coin it for car club, buy, service restore car club it's a club of cars it's a club of brands it's a club of clients so our clients are club members and the brands are part of a club so simply put car club and then kenya so that's where the name comes from that's what the business is pitched for the buy service restore there's a photograph there of a mini how we received it and the owner commissioned us as car club to restore it to its former glory. So we were given an open brief but, and we were given a timeline that was extended and extended because we wanted to do it correctly, authentic. The restoration project, example there. Service, we offer, as I said, highly technical skilled and technical staff in very large premises based in Babadogo Road, Ruaraka. I won't say we're able to restore any and every car. There are limits. Why? Because we can't reproduce body panels. And what we do is where a shell comes in and they're missing body parts to it, we try and source body parts, either new or used, depending on the age of the vehicle. Sometimes you can get producers who will provide body panels for motor cars which date back to the 50s, the 40s, the 30s and the 20s. It's hard, that's what takes the time. Where we can't, 
We will then go around the world because I have a large network from my past life, as I keep saying, um, of suppliers and restorers, factory help and factory backup, where we can get their suppliers to try and reproduce what is required. Straight answer, we can't reproduce and restore every car. It just depends on the state of the car and the severity of the car. Electric cars, these are um, they are very cheap compared to other vehicles. Um, the zero emission as well. Uh, we are very keen in terms of protecting and uh, trying to do uh, environment uh, conscious uh, projects like this. So as Utukas Africa, we want to be uh, at the forefront in terms of uh, promoting the electric mobility. Uh, we want to reduce as much as possible our carbon footprints as a country. Uh, you know, the issues that have been arising, the climate change, we see what is happening. All this is because of the climate change, global warming and all that. So we feel that this is the right step going forward, both for the country, both for, the uh, both for us as humans as well. The vehicles have different modes of charging. Uh, we have one. Um, we have others that are uh, AC charging, which basically means uh, the slow charging. Others have the DC and uh, the AC charging. Op both options for fast charging and all that. Yeah. So I'll just show you. For instance, here we have a car. It's called uh, Neta V. Neta V is. Uh, these are, these vehicles are manufactured out of China. The vehicle does up to a range of 100 kilometers on a single charge. How do we charge the car? The car we have uh, two options. The car we s actually we sell the car with a charger on board. So that you can use, you can charge it from your home uh, using the normal wall socket. You don't need to have a charging station or anything special installed at your place. Um, we also have uh, charging stations like those ones that we are offering as Utukas Africa, and uh, we are also working with other e-mobility companies, the charging uh, infrastructure providers, so that we can have a unified uh, charging system whereby it's accessible to all public. So uh, this car has, has two options. We have an option for, for slow charging here and uh, a DC charging here. So if you charge using this, this port uh, at, at home, it will take you about four to six hours to fully charge the car. So basically overnight, after you are, you are, you are through with your day's activity, you can, charge your car, you can leave your car charging and then in the morning you'll find it fully charged. Once I've charged up to 100%, it will give me about 380 to 400 kilometers. We have different sources of energy. Uh, we don't have to rely solely on the, um, on the grid power from the Kenya power because, uh, yeah, we have issues with blackouts and all that. So as a, as a solution, we uh, also offer uh, solar sheds, solar carport. This solar carport comes uh, with the inverter and the battery and uh, the charging station itself is attached to it so that uh, you don't necessarily have to utilize the power from the grid when doing your charging. Many people don't realize that the contact patch between a tire and the ground is just close to your hand. This is the size of your hand. So you must be very careful in what type of tire that you're using. In fact, in my terms, I say that the tire is a safety equipment. Why? Because it's the only part of the vehicle that's in, in, that's, uh, in touch with the ground when the vehicle is moving constantly in touch with the ground okay three tips that you ask for when somebody is choosing a tire number one is that it must be a proven tire and why do we say proven because there's so many reviews nowadays on the internet that you can check on the type of tire that you want okay it is said now that about 80 percent of the people research about a tire before they buy it so there's a lot of reviews that you can find on the on the internet about the tire so safety number one Number two is the longevity. It's how tired, how tired is that tire? How long will it last? How many um, kilometers? But then again, you need a professional person to explain this to you. And this is why, with so much experience at Kingsway, we have so many people at the counter who can rightly choose the right tire for you. Okay. Number three is that, and also importantly, is that do you get fuel economy out of the tire? Okay, because 
choosing the right tire means you can save up to 5% the fuel that you use in the car. Now we know that fuel is a bit expensive and you might just say it's 5% for now but let me tell you okay if you're using 200,000 200,000 worth of fuel per year okay and you save 5% that is 10,000 shillings now imagine saving that on one tire only okay times four is when you choose the right tire it means you also have good fuel efficiency okay and there are many other things like repairability of the tire do not buy second-hand tires okay we have seen there's a lot of scrupulous dealers who are who are just uh, cutting the tires and selling them to people be very careful they're not safe and if you're carrying your family in such tires then you're risking a lot hi my name is Shay this is Cadence we're from the United States everything is very shiny and new yeah I love Mini Coopers they're so tiny and impractical but I own one at home so I really enjoyed seeing the Mini Cooper my husband is walking around and he's really the lover of cars so I'm here to support him Hi, my name is Adrian Dennis. I'm here to check out the car show and I've seen some interesting cars. I'm a Toyota fanboy, so I saw the, the Toyota RAV4 and I'm like, yeah, I should probably just get the checkbook, sign this and probably just go with it. You see, a car's all about the performance. You need to know how it drives, um, its limits as, a, as, a, as an engine, how easy it is to find like the spare parts. So once you have those in mind, I think it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Something that has picked my eye are the bikes. They were power, the off-road. I'm an off-road type kind of guy. So I think you can explore and you can go for adventures with the bike. I liked the bike section. It was so interesting. I've never seen such bikes. So it's a new experience for me knowing that there are other types of things in the market. So it's fun. Very interesting, but a majority of number that I've registered today are mostly from women, young people, and it's, it's, it's showing you that the world is moving on, progressing. Women also know about automotive. It's not just a male-oriented event. Women are also showing up, and it's very interesting. I, I like Daka, which one I've, I've seen today. My favorite car is Sumaru. My dad will buy for me the Sumaru. Okay, thank you very much.